Hey, Lauren here with Honest Reviews, and today we're going to be looking at the 10,000 milliamp hour power bank from Oxu. Okay, so I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's my best guess. This one here is 10,000 milliamp hours, like I mentioned, and one thing that is really kind of significant about this is that it's quite affordable. Right now on amazon.com, it is $17.99 US dollars for the black model, and sometimes it costs a little bit more for white or navy blue, about a dollar. Make sure to check the link below if you wanna take a peek at that, see all the specs from Amazon. Uh, but we're gonna be looking at this one primarily because it is quite similar to another power bank we reviewed earlier. This is the Get High You power bank, again, my best guess. Uh, this one is 10,000 milliamp hours as well. It was retailing for $20, $20 US when we reviewed it, but it's very hard to find in the States right now. For us, this one was really good bang for your buck, but because you can't find it, well, it's not so great after all, but this one kind of does the similar job. So we're gonna look at this one today. So 10,000 milliamp hours for your capacity. It has a few ports here that we'll take a peek at. We have two USB-A ports, a USB-C in the middle, which as I've mentioned in other reviews, you really wanna find a power bank with USB-C because so many devices have it, so many devices are going to have it, it just gives you more longevity with the power bank that you're spending money for. Over on the side here, there is a micro USB port for recharging. So you can recharge this via micro USB or USB-C, which just kind of gives you an extra option, which is nice. Over here on this side, it's a little hard to see, but there is a button. You press that button and it lights up, letting you know how much uh, power you have left in the bank. Um, it's kind of tough to see on white, but they just light up like that, which is pretty standard. We tested the actual capacity of this one and it came in at 85%, which is pretty decent. It's not the best that we've ever tested, but it's also not the worst. So this power bank has power delivery 18 watt via the USB-C. So that just is the amount of power it can use in order to recharge a device or to recharge itself. And when we tested it, recharging itself came in at about 12.5 watts, so not quite there. Um, the iPhone and the Switch were at about 12. And then when we tested the MacBook, it was about 16. So the MacBook was pretty good. That's the one that can actually draw a lot of power. It's all kind of standard across the board for the other power banks that we've tested with that 18 watt power delivery standard. It just means that it doesn't actually use quite as much as it says it's using for stuff like the MacBook, um, but it's pretty standard across the board for these. In terms of the build quality, this is a very like shiny plastic, which is a little uncommon for power banks that I've seen. They're usually more matte, but this one is very shiny. Uh, the white does not actually show fingerprints very much, so that's nice. Not a lot of power banks come in white, and if you really want it to be white and match like your phone or something, um, this one will do that job for you. I am not the biggest fan of like just the tactile feel of this. Uh, I don't know. It just, it doesn't seem like it's poorly made. It just doesn't feel very, you know, expensive. It feels a little bit cheap to me, but it seems decently made. So that's just kind of a personal preference. This button here is kind of, really clicky. I don't know if you can hear that, but it just, it's a little bit like cheap feeling, especially compared to, you know, anchor products that are made out of aluminum. But then again, the aluminum can scratch stuff and this plastic is not gonna scratch anything. So I think it's, it's definitely a decent build quality. The design is very, very thin, if you can see. Um, even this Get High You one, the design is very thin. The Gahayu one over here is definitely thicker. This one is very light. When we tested it, it was 186 grams in terms of weight. That Gahayu one was 203 grams and there's an Anchor 10,000 um, milliamp hour one that's similar that came in at 197. So this is definitely the lightest. It's one of the lightest in this kind of range. So if you want something very portable, very small, very light, this one does a good job of all those things. 
Okay, so it doesn't come with much when you're paying $18 for a power bank. I don't think you can expect a ton of accessories. It comes with no case and this one cable, which is USB-A to USB-C. Um, so if you do want to charge your devices with that USB-C, USB-C to USB-C, which will give you the fastest out of this, you are going to need your own cable. Um, so it just doesn't have that cable. You'll need to have your own. So that's a bit of a bummer. Make sure to check below. I will link to a USB-C to USB-C cable if you wanna pick one up. And one final thing about this one is that it only has a 12 month warranty. Anchor products have an 18 month warranty and there are some that even have 24 months. So 12 is pretty short. Um, so you might want to think about that if you're gonna purchase this. And I always, always say, if it breaks within those 12 months, contact the company, get yourself a replacement. That's what that warranty is there for. One device that I will mention that's uh, all the same specs as this one is the 10,000 milliamp hour power bank from Anchor. And that one comes in at $45 US. It is the same capacity. They both have that 18 watt power delivery. Uh, so this one is $18 and that one is 45. So if th that gives you a bit of a sense of just how cheap, affordable this one is compared to some of the other ones in the market. Uh, obviously, Anchor products are very popular. They have a slightly longer warranty, um, but when it really comes down to the specs, you're kind of getting a very similar thing. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this review. This one is definitely very affordable for the capacity, so you'll wanna check it out. Those links are below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this review and make sure to subscribe for a whole lot more. Thanks so much for watching and have an awesome day.